us exactly what your organization does and, and who you are and, and how this all came about? Yes, I am from South African Family Relief Project. Um, our organization assists the minority groups who are refused uh, assistance from the government. Um, we have about 460 of these white squatter camps in South Africa. Um, out of the four plus million white South Africans, over a million whites are living in these dire conditions. And the government is refusing to assist these people. Okay, so what, what, what do you do in these camps? What well, mainly we, we uh, try and gather as much donations as we can. Food is a huge problem. Clothing, um, and uh, as you can see in the background, yeah, these people live in shacks, corrugated iron shacks. Uh, when they came here, there were no floors in these shacks. There were absolutely no windows. The heat in the summer is excruciating. Um, they did not have any uh, uh, toilets. Um, there's no running water. Uh, after a long battle with the camp management and the municipality, they eventually installed five faucets, taps of running water, um, but it's still not sufficient. There's about 300 residents in this camp, and uh, um, there's absolutely no assistance. If it wasn't for the donations coming in from the ordinary man on the street, we wouldn't, they wouldn't get anything. There are about 460 of these white squatter camps in South Africa. No, you can't always be 100% sure, but um, they started popping up at, a, at about 1996, 97. Um, this camp used to be the old Coronation Park uh, camp. The government decided to put the people off the property and they moved them to this property, which is actually an old landfill. Um, so the, the conditions of these camps are horrific. Um, the reason why the people end up in these, these situations or in these camps is because of the broad-based black economic empowerment law, which states that um, you cannot employ a white person. Um, the white minority men are not getting employment because of these laws, the affirmative action laws. So. Uh, the blue-collar workers who are your middle-class uh, workers are directly affected um, by these laws. Uh, more blacks are being employed and more whites are losing their jobs and in, in losing their homes and, and in, in the end end up in these, these, these squatter camps. The government refuses to assist these, these people. Uh, they feel that um, because of the apartheid area, they do not deserve any assistance. Um, but most of these children in these camps were born post-1994 apartheid, and I feel that the discrimination against these, these children are unfair. They were born in a supposedly free and fair South Africa, but yet they are denied assistance. It's reverse apartheid in my opinion. It's a direct reverse apartheid. Mm -hmm.